There it is. Welcome to the meeting. <laughs> um, so first on the agenda is approval of the minutes from March 6th. I would like to make a motion. Second, I need to to second. That's you, Dan. Uh, I'll pull them up as soon as I can. They have them here somewhere. Where where's our um fourth member? Alan, I'm not sure. I haven't heard from Alan. Mm -hmm. Now I don't see Dan. Is that all right? Yeah, I think it's only when someone's talking. Oh, okay. That somehow it's smart. Man. Carolyn, I'm going to try and take your place and do minutes, but I, they're certainly not going to be as wonderful. Second. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. Gotcha. <clears throat> All in favor of approving the minutes? Aye. Aye. Okay. Aye. Unanimous. Um, CP update. So, um, Dan and I, and I think Carolyn was there, um, presented at yeah. the CPA meeting on the 27th of March and uh, it went pretty well. And they um, approved for us to move forward to town meeting um, for the 1.236 million. Um, so next step is to prep for town meeting. And also there's a forum on April 27th. Yeah, usually it's going over the warrants before the meeting. Okay, yeah. great. Um, so we also need to prepare for that. And that's 427, you said? I, I have a question. Uh, what happened to stretch code issues with that? that? The stretch code? Yeah. I did reach out to David Tudrin to see if he could elaborate on where our position would be and how we would need to, how all of that uh, fits together between uh, the energy codes and the IEBC and, um, you know, the, the building itself. And he never got back to me. Um, uh -huh. he's, he said that he would um, be willing to help, but I don't know if he's in town or not. Um, What's his position? Um, he was the original chair of the municipal building committee. He is a registered architect. Um, oh, and that's what was the objection of the one person on the CPA. Maybe that so. We didn't um, have an architect uh, look at um, this proposal. Remember, he said it didn't have architectural. We needed plans from the architect and it didn't have approval. Right. So well, that's, the, that's the reason we're going to town meeting to get able to help. What? Back plans completed. Yeah, so to know to help. Um, is stretch the same as handicapped accessible? No. Oh. Stretch code is an energy efficiency code. Oh. Okay. Well, you know, it's occurred to me that since all we're asking for is to, um, to make the building stable, it's I don't know that the stretch code is avail is um, is pertinent. Not here. at this point, but eventually, you know, if the building is reused, whoever uses it, be it the town or a private developer, um, I'm sure portions of that code will need to be adhered to to a yeah. certain extent. The existing building code um, does make modifications to that to accommodate for older buildings mm -hmm. that are not. Uh, it's just not possible to bring it up to certain levels of that code. So they do make certain uh, remedies for that. Yeah. Okay. Um, and in the future, I think you, you said once, Dan, that um, the, um, the um, what do you call those? Um, the things up on the top of the walls um, for electric to make it more energy efficient. Um, Solar panels? There's one in that building. Oh, right the um, 
the mini split unit. Yeah, the mini splits. Isn't that what the plan was to use them? Um, there's no plan yet for any, yeah. any energy consumption yet. The, the only plan now is to stabilize the building so that it can be used in the future. That's irrelevant too. Yeah. Okay. So sorry to interrupt. <laughs> I just, so many issues to this um, building. Okay. Sorry, Courtney. That's okay. So um, I reached out to Jennifer to find out uh, exactly how much time we have at town meeting to present and how much time we'll have at the forum. Um, she hasn't, she's gotten back to me, but she hasn't really specified exactly how much time. Um, sounds like they will finalize that at the select board meeting yep. on Wednesday. Um, so we'll have more information after that. Um, <clears throat> in terms of who to present, um, I have an idea of who I think might be the best person to present. I don't know if we would like to discuss. Well, it, I mean, you're our really, chair, madam, and you do a very good job. And when I signed up to be chair, I did not sign up to uh, <laughs> present at every meeting. Um, it was right. more of an administrative uh, yeah. role. Right. I, I'll do it. Yeah. I mean, I, could it, do it. I, I don't think it really matters, uh, you know, the to open up any discussion at town meeting. You just need to, you know, basically... We'll say uh, our you know, state Senate. the purposes yeah. of the warrant yeah. article yeah. and and try to make that a little more clear yeah. and then open it up to questions. Yeah. Typically, they they allow any speaker at the mic three minutes. Yeah. And um, if if that person has questions, um, they don't, you know, it's, it's just not polite to let that one person dominate the microphone and keep going yeah, you know the moderator and, yeah the moderator will put into into line anybody who is taking too much time at the microphone because many people won't will want to speak um hopefully yeah. at the forum mm -hmm. and the forum is the area where um there's we have an opportunity to um thoroughly explain the warrant article and what it entails and what it means and what the purpose of it is. Um, Do many and people come to that? People before? come, but it's not a it's not a time for people to ask questions. Right. It's only a time for the the people who are presenting the warrant articles to explain the article and what it entails, what its purpose is, and why it's necessary. So, and that's to the moderator or to the select board and moderator. Well, to anybody, anybody, who, anybody who wants to come. any person in town who's interested in what the warrant articles are on that particular town meeting can come to the meeting and they can listen. And but they, they don't, don't encourage questions. Don't encourage people to ask questions. They want people to come and they would like yep. the different people who are presenting the articles to give the most clear and concise explanation of what the warrant articles are intended. To, to do. Uh, many of the articles are going to be, you know, housekeeping or uh, mm -hmm. stuff that the town has to do at every town meeting. So there's not yeah. a lot of, but an article like this, you know, we're going to be expected to present a really clear mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, complete explanation of, of what we're trying to do here. Yep. Complete. I have experience presenting to town meetings and forums mm -hmm. and the forum is nothing but a crack well in this case i don't know how they're running hadley but <laughs> the forum is just basically I, i'm sorry one number one your the sun is coming in and i can't see you and number Greg. two could you tell me your name <laughs> Qualic. i'm sorry greg Qualic. how do you spell your last name a W O L E K. Carolyn, um, Dragon is doing the minutes, so yeah. It's the forum is more of a dress rehearsal for the town meeting. Yep. The forum is intent, you know, just uh, get up there and, as they say, you know, in thirty seconds or less, state your case. Thirty yeah. seconds. Ooh, well, no, no, he's just, that's, that's just you know, you know, you're not you're not going to get uh, a half an hour to no. date your case. It's just 
you know, there will be other articles from people who want, you know, this this done, that done, yeah. and so on and so forth. And it's just, thank you, ma'am. Here's the thing. And quite frankly, after a while, people stop listening. Correct. Yeah. But that does not preclude doing the same thing at the town meeting. Yep. So I would just take that forum opportunity to put your arms around what you're going to say at town meeting. Yep. Because people will then have the opportunity to ask questions. Yep. Okay. And if, if you get caught stuttering, stammering, or being evasive, uh, it's the kiss of death. Yeah. That's why I do not like that. <laughs> well, I, I think try. not everybody's going to have a, a, an answer for every question, yep. because especially in this case, the, the bulk of the questions are going to be, well, what's next? And, you know, right. we, that's, that's not where we're at. We're only at what's here and what we want to do is preserve the building so that it can be used in the future yeah. what the future beyond that is we're not going to be able to answer and, that and I, at that point your comment is that's beyond the scope yeah. of yeah. The article. this an article yeah you know and, thank you for that that's good mm -hmm. and, and move on yeah. to the next person who yeah. has a legitimate question i mean we certainly have in you know our own hopes and dreams as to what what the future of the building will be. And, you know, I don't think we're, we're prohibited from, from forwarding that. Mm -hmm. uh, but really, you know, at this point, the sky is the limit. You know, mm -hmm. if we can preserve this building, um, it can be used for so many, so many different things. So, you know, uh, my hope is that the, the town can use it and the town can keep it and use it. It's the perfect position. And it's not a good position for many other things. Yeah, it's a great location. Um, but if it's beyond the scope of the warrant article, then we really can't say anything. Nope. And and that's just being really concise and clear. And and you know, if we get repetitive questions, just having the same response and kind of unwavering. You just add the words once again. Yeah. <laughs> right. If that is uh, beyond yeah. the scope of this yeah. article. And hopefully the yeah. moderator, if people have repetitive questions that aren't of additional added substance, they can be not that, kind I, of, not that I want to put words in the committee's no. mouth, but it states here the projects, including erecting retaining walls as required to mm -hmm. stabilize grades around the foundation, repair the battered granite walls, repoint the brick, and replace the slate roof. I don't know. What's, What's that, that document? It's the CPA minutes. Yeah. Oh, the minutes. That's, that's fine. That sounds exactly like what that's what you. Well, well I, I mean, did, didn't you about. say, yeah. though, uh, Courtney, that uh, there would also be money for a study? Um, yes. Yeah, the study's included in that. Does it show okay. that? It does not minutes? show that. And that's one of my questions. Yeah. If, well, it should be to whoever presented it. I think it was you, it was, Dan. I, I, it was a, both of us, I think. Yeah, right? in, the, in their minutes, so since the yeah. others are unavailable. Uh, it's, they also go on to, to state these sub projects are estimated at, well, I'm going to take some license here because that says mm -hmm. 315,000, 168,000. 308,000, 445,000 for a total of $1,236. There is no room for study. 236,000. There is. There, well, I, had, I did the math myself. It comes out to what you're asking for. Right. But those numbers, again, um, well, it, it was explained, it was explained before, those numbers included the soft costs which are the design costs for those those items. Right. So if okay. if you were if you were to take each of one of those numbers, there's a portion of each one of those numbers that is dedicated toward the soft costs. You're going to need to break, break that out. Yeah. Well, we could certainly do that. No. <laughs> go to town meeting and say, well, to uh, do the uh, repoint the brick is going to be three hundred eight thousand dollars. Well, I think that's and kind of the 
the challenge, and that's where the point that we're at, is that even without getting the CPA money, we can't get those hard figures. Correct. So that's kind of, I hate to be punny, but like the brick wall we're against Correct. without right. being able to get those figures that I know that we all want. Okay. So if that's the case, then somebody must make understood. Right. Must make understood. And then the follow-up question from the next person is going to say, well, uh, how much are you estimating for soft costs? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you contacted any architects, any mm -hmm. structural yep. engineers? So I did um, share at that meeting that we got two quotes for, for feasibility studies, which was $25,000. Feasibility for? Um, it's for uh, determining the cost to rehab it and mm -hmm. how the building could be used. Um, down and to then, what offices could be where. I'm just going to be devil's advocate. Well, how yeah. come we didn't ask for that first? Um, because we need to fix the building immediately before it crumbles. Um, we've yeah. had two studies done before and nothing happened with it. Um, so one of my fears is we ask for the feasibility study, then we nothing study happens. And then nothing happens. Well, yeah, that's the that's the corner that we're in is because the 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 work that we're specifying that needs to be done that's critical. Um, you need to have the, the the work done this season. And if we wait until fall, that may that money may not become available until the next snow. Right. So if we don't have that pool ready, <coughs> work may not get in time. So if we have mm -hmm. the money for the studies and the architectural design work and the specifications and the bid dots, that can be done within a couple of months and those bids can be put out. And when the bids come, they will be there to pay for those items. It's not going to be this construction season. It's going to be next, next winter, next, next construction. But, season. We, but we can start the whole process instead of waiting another six months. No, I don't, you'll have to talk, talk with town at town council. Um. It's, the town allocates, you may get them. This is, I'm not sure. You, they may give you the money, but who has the authorization to spend the money? Do you have to submit so, it to the? This is all the select board. Yeah, it all gets, it's it's all presented. So, yeah. All of the money that we're asking for will be awarded to the select board. So they will have it in, in an yeah, account. But that's a good question. So what is the mechanism to draw on that account? Who has the authority mm -hmm. and what must they what must they prove that they're going out for? Mm -hmm. We're going out for an engineering study on building a moat around the building to stabilize it. That would be pretty cool. Yeah. You know, well, those those are procurement questions that are yeah, they're and, actually you know there are you know there are state and sure with procurement requirements you right. have to have a state. Yep. You know, you have to have a statement of work. You have yeah. to have a delineated, delineated activities within that statement of work. Yep. Right. No, we're we're fully understanding yeah. that. And the, the 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 idea is to make sure that the process is not bogged down like it has been in the past. So this not another so, 20 well, years. From what I understand, it's been bogged down in the past due to uh kind of inattention. Correct. But now if you move we get bogged down in administrivia. Well, that's that is actually the problem. That's where it has been bogged down. Um, you know, the administration has taken the opportunity to do these studies and wait more than a year yeah. before so, acting. Correct. And but I'm twice. What I'm saying is once they say on the market set go, uh, if the money's not there, we can't go. Correct. Internal. Yeah. And then uh it's like whoever MT is. Who was that Mary Fair? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, right. MT asked the RSC if they yeah, have checked ready. with the town administrator mm -hmm. to see if these four sub projects are bid ready for procurement. That's, in, that's so that was they didn't say what they got for an answer, but it's, it's, I guess they're asking you to check with the town administrator. Are those the minutes from the 13th or the 27th? Oh, that's a good question. Mm -hmm. 13th. Mm. Okay. Because we had a meeting after that. Yeah, they haven't posted on that. 
<laughs> that I could find. There you go. Understood. No, I mean it. This is it's. We did meet with the this, town administrator a couple times. Yeah. So I mean, this has gone on and on and on. Hmm. And what our you know what we're trying to do with this committee is put an end to it. Enough of this sending us in a circle, mm -hmm. so this project falls into the ground. It's disrespectful. And it, you know, the, the town citizens deserve a little bit more attention paid to this. When the town citizens decided that they wanted this library and that senior center and that fire station up north, they came to town meeting and they voted for it. And we were trying to offer them the opportunity to do this without hesitation. Uh, I, well, have you written the article yet and submitted the it? The CPA is supposed to write it. Oh, okay. Do you have a notes or anything about it? Or you get a chance to read it before they submit it? Mm -hmm. I hope. Yeah, I'll check in with Mary Thayer just to have an idea of um this how... town meeting is only a couple of weeks away. I know. Can you believe it? Yeah. Golf season is like Monday. <laughs> uh, yeah, you need to uh, uh, <laughs> And if there's something there that you don't understand or aren't agreeing, mm -hmm. you need to push back to them. Yeah. yeah. Because they're the ones driving the bus right now. And once you go to town meeting, uh, it, you don't want to stand up there and have to revise no. yeah. a yeah. warrant article. Because then you get into a vote that requires oh, yeah. two thirds of members in attendance. And then they have to vote on the rewritten oh, words. Yeah. Then they have to agree upon the rewritten words. Oh yeah. And then they have to yeah. moving that article forward. The last time we had a meeting like that, we didn't get out until 11. Oh yeah, they can they, it's a lot of fun. So it's very important to allocate this money well, is Greg, it does a vote or one half, a majority. Instead of you know, rather than rather than than you know. You know, throw up the roadblock and ex explain that we have a roadblock. If there's a way that you can help us out and alleviate the, you know, it seems like you have a good understanding mm -hmm. of how this is supposed to go, but there's some things that you're not telling us. Yeah, like I'll tell you, I'll be honest with you. Uh, I have other uses for that building. I have other uses for the land mm -hmm. that that building sits on. Okay, uh, not the building per se. Uh, I don't, don't think I my first question to this committee was why is it historic? Mm -hmm. And other than I went there or my grandmother went went there, there's you know well it's the architecture. It's the architect yeah, it's beautiful. It's a great location. Only like dark, how many well built that specific type of building. What type of building is it? 